What's up, turd nuggets? Gun Gun Pixies was created by developer Compile Heart and was released for the Vita in 2016, then later ported to the Switch and Steam. I'll be looking at the Switch version because it's hacked and I stole it. <laughs> I mean, I already own it, and this is just a backup copy because that's how laws work in the gaming community. Originally, I was skeptical about this one. Cutesy lollies with tons of dialogue. No, thank you. We're the dicks. But then I was pleasantly surprised as I took control of a tiny, half-naked slut whose sole purpose is to shoot horny bullets at teen girls. Sounds like my normal weekend for Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> I mean, who? As you shoot these slutty little co-eds, they begin emitting electrical energy. Trust me, I've been there. And then it turns into a 3D shoot 'em up kinda. The controls are pretty good, and surprisingly, the camera's not too bad, unless you're in these tight areas where you can't move it at all. What really sucks is the platforming. Jumping alone is pretty shitty, but couple that with tiny little ladder rungs, well, it makes me wish I would've just left this game on Lolita Island. Uh, I mean, who? This game also has super long cutscenes. Well, cutscenes might be the wrong word. More like dialogue-driven still images that change expression every so often. I'm not gonna lie, I mostly skipped all this shit. Which did make things a little difficult, because some missions have you cleaning up shit, while others have you getting the girls horny, and sometimes you're trying to find a... smell? But when you skip all the dialogue, you're just kinda thrown into a bedroom left guessing what to do. You can usually figure it out, it's not a very complex game, but it is still a bit tedious. Like, before you can even find that smell, you gotta go around this room looking for items that will let you inspect them. You gotta walk around looking for anything with a prompt. It's kind of obnoxious. As I said before, I didn't really want to listen to these whores open their mouths, but what I can deduce from gameplay is that you play as one of two tiny little slutty aliens who sexually harass a dorm of schoolgirls with stupid schoolgirl problems, like getting a new roommate who may or may not be into the occult. You know, normal Japanese schoolgirl shit. My favorite part of the game is the pause function, where you can move the camera anywhere you want at any time. You know, to look for those well-hidden secrets. Overall, this game kicks ass. I mean, not as a game, but as like a pervert simulator. Tons of jiggly tits, schoolgirl panties, and I didn't even have to pay anyone. <laughs> um, I mean, who? Mmm. Mmm.